Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, to another franchise mode video where today I'm going to be bringing a team full of WHL alumni into NHL 20 franchise mode for a one year sim just to see how good a team made out of those players can do. If you guys missed it, I did do a QMJHL and OHL sim part of the three uh, CHL videos. Uh, it was actually posted a while back. I took a bit of a break of making videos apart from uh, the usual franchise sport in the Montreal Canadiens but I want to get back to doing videos so so the playlist is on my channel with all the uh, with the other two videos uh, all the QMJHL players all the OHL players and now we're going to do WHL just see how good the team can do so these are all alumni from the league I won't be doing any trades no free agent pickups at all during the seasons we have Matt Barzell along with Leon Dreisaitl and Mark Stone so a very good first line of course they have a plus one chemistry Bringing dry side a lot to a 93, Stone to an 89, Barzal to an 87. Then we got Braden Point along with Jamie Benn and Brendan Gallagher, 89, 85, and 85. Line number three, we got Ryan Nugent Hawkins at 85, Reinhardt at 85, and Emberly at 84. Then line number three, we have Get Slap there at 85, Nina Ryder 83, Johansson 85. Defense is pretty good, all mid 80s guys. So Morgan Riley 87 with Shea Weber 88. Seth Jones 87 with uh, Yvonne Provera 85. Say Dano Chara 84 and Dustin Buffett 87. I do wish we'd have better chemistry. The only line that has good chemistry is line number one. Uh, but in goal, we have Carey Price 91 overall, backed up by Braden Holby at 88. Of course, Price, Howie Vajleski for the highest rated goal in the league. Power play has a plus one on both units, which is great. Stone with Dry Seidel, Barzell, Jones, and Riley. Then Ryan Hart with point and get slap. Weber and Jamie Ben at the point. So for the team, I did name it Kamloops WHL. Kamloops having the most uh, championships in the WHL. Uh, looks like the computer actually made a trade there right, to, right at the beginning of the year. Vlasic goes to Winnipeg for Niku and uh, a prospect there. I'm going to actually go to this game just to show you guys the jerseys that I made for the team. They're pretty simple. We got a W for WHL as the logo. 99 offense, 96 defense, 94 goaltending. So again, jerseys are very simple. Just made in basically the colors of the WHL. Uh, red and black and white. There's the away jerseys for the team. So I'm expecting them to uh, do pretty good. Very good offense, great defense, amazing goaltending. So uh, I'm going to sim up to the trade deadline see how the team is doing at that point then we'll be looking at uh, doing the rest of the year obviously checking out the playoffs hopefully we can get a good run uh, and see if the team can win a Stanley Cup so we did have a decent preseason we went 4-1 and 2 actually went 9-3 against the Lightning 2-1 against Buffalo 6-1 against Montreal so some high scoring games there Dry settled 16 points in 7 games that's awesome I'm gonna go through captaincy just to show you guys who the captains are. We actually listed as champion for the team status. Should do pretty good. Uh, Leon Drysettle there is the captain. Braden Point assistant and Shea Weber is the assistant uh, number two. So Drysell being obviously the best player in the team, I wanted him to have the captaincy and carry the team. Uh, Shea Weber being a, a leader um, in Montreal, being a captain there. So those are my choices I did. Uh, for scratch, I actually had Tyler Johnson, Jake DeBrusk, and Michael Backlund. Obviously, there's so many players uh, from that league, the alumni. Couldn't put them all in a team, but just want to give a few honorable mentions as well. So we're 4 one into after a preseason. Going to simulate firstly up to the trade deadline and see how good the team is doing at that point. So we're at the trade deadline. We actually have a decent record, 37-23-4. Uh, we have been scoring a lot, but being scored on a lot, you guys can see there, we actually lost 7-1 against the Habs. A couple of games out west that we uh, lost in a row at the beginning of the year. Now, I did forget to mention the only reason we're in the Atlantic that actually substituted the Detroit Red Wings at the time that I created these teams, which was actually a while back. Uh, the Red Wings were the lowest rated team in the, in the game. So I just replaced the lowest rated team with uh, our team. So that's why it's like that. It's so going to simulate up to the end of the year. See how good a record we have. See if we can uh, stay in a playoff spot. All right. So right at the end of the regular season, we actually have a 49-27-6 record. The team had an awesome second half. 104 points, which is good for third in the division. We actually have three teams that are over 100 points in the Atlantic. 
Leon Dreisaitl had 50 goals on the dot. Look at that at 92 overall. Uh, so 91 points, 50 goals, and after that, it kind of drops down. So uh, the first line definitely carried the load. Barzell, 22 goals, 76 points. Stone, 23 goals and 68. Riley, there's 62 points and plus 17. Very good for a defenseman, then got point, get slapped there. Uh, Shea Weber with 39 uh, in our top 10 for scoring. Ryan Johansson there, Jamie Benn, Reinhardt Gallagher. Uh, Seth Jones, Niederreiter, Nugent Hopkins going down the list. Chera had two goals. Uh, taking a look at goaltending, we'll see how Price is. 38, 18, and 4 with three shutouts. 9, 21 save percentage with 228 goals against. Holby didn't have his good numbers, but I guess he did the job as backup. Uh, so there you go. I'm actually going to take a look quickly at the standings for the whole league and points for the whole league for scores. Just to see how good uh, we did compared to other teams. The Atlantic seems to be really strong. So look at that. Uh, top three teams in the Atlantic. Feels weird having WHL in the Atlantic. But again, it was just to replace the lowest rated team. Then Nashville, Washington, Vegas, Pittsburgh, Dallas. Eight teams with over 100 points. And then let's see the lowest rated seed to make the playoffs. It looks like it may be in the Panthers with 88 points. They made the playoffs. So I'm going to take a look quickly at league scoring as well for goals. Uh, see how good our guys compared to the rest of the league. So here we are, entire league. So Leon Dreisaitl actually won the Art Ross, which is a Dreisaitl on the Oilers. And McDavid, 101, they both share the Art Ross. That's pretty cool. Uh, Malkin with 99, 52 goals. Ovechkin with 99 points, 49 goals for Ovi. Shifley with 94, Kuznetsov, Vykel, Sidney Crosby at 32, not slowing down. 64 assists for uh, Crosby. Uh, I guess you see the rest of the guys. Taking a look quickly at goals. Malkin with 52, beating Drysdale by 2 for the Rocket Richard, which doesn't go to Ovi, it goes to Gino. Eichel there, Drysdale on the Oilers. Kessel, Pashretti, Hoffman with a big gear. Stamco, Savaris, Line, McKinnon. And Marchand, the guys would usually see there. Uh, four defensemen, Dowdy with 79 points. That is a defenseman, 11 goals. John Collison, Victor Hedman, and Latang, they were really good with plus and minus as well. Eggman, Larson, Carlson, Riley, Quinn Hughes with a good year as well. Pro for all, Petrangelo, Duncan Keat with a big year. And there's Shea Weber. As for goaltending, uh, Vasilevsky with 44 wins. Uh, three goalies with 40 wins or more. Seven shutouts for Vasilevsky as well as two Karas. So extremely good number, especially at 233 goals against. That is extremely good. I'm going to take a quick look at rookie skaters as well. Just quickly, just curious to see how they ended up. Uh, Martin Nikash there beating up. Nikash beating Quinn Hughes, Kako, and Jack Hughes there with 22 goals, 63 points. Quinn Hughes with 61 and then you got Kamakar there at 34, Suzuki at 31. That's the list of the rookie skaters for the NHL. So that's a, that's a look at the rookie skaters. As for rookie goaltenders, see if there's any standouts. Uh, Sasanov, Demko had a very good year. Pedersen and Blackwood's so gonna jump into the Stanley Cup playoffs and just see how far we can get. Hopefully get ourselves to Stanley Cup. Uh, looks like we're facing the Tampa Bay Lightning in round number one. We know how good they are. Definitely going to be a tough matchup against Stamkos, Kucherov, Hedman, Vajaleski, all those guys. So it's going to simulate the first four games. Uh, game number one, we lose game number one. As well as game number two, I would not like to be swept. It looks like that's maybe what's going to happen. And we get swept by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa is just a powerhouse. They got swept by Columbus in real life. And in the game, they decided to sweep us. Uh, dry cell had five points in four games so unfortunately they, it was too much to handle it's gonna take a look at who uh, won the stanley cup and then take a look at the awards and we'll end off the episode so again if you guys miss it ohl and qmjhl both are in my playlist for chl videos on my channel you can you guys can go watch those if you like and the florida panthers have won the stanley cup Wow, Florida gets their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Barkov and Huberto, Eggblad, Bobrovsky, Belleville wins the Calder Cup in the AHL. So there you go. Florida Panthers win the Stanley Cup.
Colorado wins the draft lottery from 9 to 1 and gets Alexi Lafreniere. Imagine that happens in real life. Lafreniere with McKinnon, uh, Landeskog, Rantanen, Makar, Byron. That would just be unfair. That would be crazy. I'm going to take a look at the playoff trees. I'm pretty curious to see who uh, Florida had to go through. So they actually beat Arizona in six. Arizona versus Florida in the Stanley Cup final. Wow. And then they got Florida that beat Carolina in seven. And Arizona beat Dallas in five. So, so if you look at the top eight teams, apart from Philly and Minnesota, there were really <laughs> six teams in the South. It was all teams that uh, with definitely warm weather. I mean, looking at Florida, Carolina, Dallas, Arizona. Wow. And then the first round, Flyers actually beat uh, Pittsburgh in seven. So the Battle of Pennsylvania uh, over there. So that's a look at the playoff tree. Florida beat Arizona for the Stanley Cup in six games. As you guys can see there, Boston won the President's Trophy. Individual awards, the Art Ross went to Edmonton's Dreisaitl. The Hart went to Ovechkin as well as the James Norris goes to a Washington player, John Carlson. Lady Bing goes to Kucherov. Nikash gets to Calder. Bobrovsky with the con smite. Fesna goes to Vasilevsky for a second year in a row. William M. Jennings goes to Tuka Raz. The Bill Masterton to Ryan Suter. Jack Adams to the Canucks coach. The Salki goes to Kopitar. Ten Lindsay to Ovechkin in the Rocket to Gino Malkin. So there it is, guys. Unfortunately, I was a, not a good playoff run. We didn't even win one game. Had a very good regular season. Unfortunately, we just couldn't uh, keep that momentum going in the playoffs. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like. would appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new as well. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.